The Snapdragon 8 Elite is set to revolutionize the smartphone chip game, and it's coming first to the Samsung Galaxy S25 series. For years, Apple's iPhone Silicon, like the A-series chips, dominated benchmarks, consistently outperforming Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips used in flagship Android devices. However, things seem to be changing fast and Qualcomm is about to turn the tables. Thanks to new leaks from smart pricks and tipster own leaks, we've gotten our hands on benchmark results for the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is the upcoming chipset for Android flagships like the Samsung Galaxy S25. This is essentially the successor to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, but Qualcomm has rebranded it as the Snapdragon 8 Elite. So how does it perform? Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about performance. The Snapdragon 8 Elite has already set a new standard with some performance advantage are fading fast. Let's move on to another popular benchmark, Heatbench 6, which is designed for cross-platform comparisons, making it a better measure for head-to-head -head competition between Qualcomm and Apple. In this test, the Snapdragon 8 Elite scored 3,260 points in the single core test and 10,051 points in the multi-core test. How does the A18 Pro stack up here? Apple's chip posted slightly lower single core scores at 3,182, but the multi-core test was where the Snapdragon 8 Elite really pulled ahead as the A18 Pro only managed 7,872. Qualcomm's new Orion cores, custom designed for this chip, are clearly pulling some serious weight, pushing multi-core performance far ahead of Apple's flagship chip. Interestingly, the Snapdragon 8 Elite will come in two different versions. The standard version will feature two cores clocked at 4.09 GHz and six cores running at 2.78 GHz. For those who want even more power, there will also be an overclocked version with two cores running at 4.32 GHz. This flexibility in configurations could give manufacturers like Samsung, Xiaomi, and OnePlus the chance to fine-tune performance to their specific devices. In gaming, the Snapdragon 8 Elite doesn't disappoint either. On the GX and Bench platform, it managed to register 125 FPS, while on DreamWorks Wildlife, it hit 166 FPS. These scores are impressive, hinting at exceptional gaming performance, which is critical for high-end phones like the Galaxy S25. The Snapdragon 8 Elite is Qualcomm's first chip to feature self-designed Orion cores, a major innovation for the company. These cores are expected to bring a significant boost in efficiency and power, which could help Qualcomm close the gap on Apple or perhaps even surpass them. The chip will be built on TSMC's 3 nanometer node, which is the latest in semiconductor manufacturing technology. This makes the Snapdragon 8 Elite more efficient, which should help with battery life, while the Adreno 830 GPU is likely to push mobile gaming and graphics performance to new heights. So when can you get your hands on this beast of a chip? The Snapdragon 8 Elite will be officially announced later this month and will be featured in the Samsung Galaxy S25 series expected to launch early next year. But Samsung won't be the only brand. Stay tuned for more updates on the Galaxy S25 and this Snapdragon 8 Elite as we get closer to their release. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest updates on all the upcoming flagship phones and more tech news. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. 
And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now, onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 hertz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.